everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I have Sage with me on another Wattpad Book Club reading. Yay, that is the best intro you've given me so far. Really? That's sad. <laughs> yeah, last time, last time, the first time you called me the British one, and then the second time you called me a furry. <laughs> and I, I'm actually now <laughs> professional now. <laughs> yeah, you just say my name this time, I was like, wow. Yay! I ran out of things to call you. You're it's you're a British furry. <laughs> oh great! Now I'm both. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be, you, bro. You literally are British, and you have a dog as your profile picture. You 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 have to be both. <laughs> I'm not a furry, bro. I would beg to differ. <laughs> hides my bells in Bob Stundy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, in today's episode, I get, we're gonna be continue reading uh, Loot X uh, Adam and Cry <laughs> during. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have time a to have a seizure. Yeah, we're gonna have a mental breakdown during this episode. Because... Yeah, you're gonna see some tweaking yeah. happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's POV us. Stay in the box. No, stay in the box. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. Yeah. <laughs> just communicate. It's not that hard. Yeah, just, just do something fruity or something. I don't know. Together. <laughs> do something fruity or something. I don't know what straight people do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me personally, I've never seen a straight person, so I don't know what you guys do, but pop off, I guess. Would I count as straight still, even if I'm demisexual? Because I'm I... dating a man. I have no idea. Are you attracted to women? No, I'm sorry. But Are I'm you also attracted? Agendered, so would that just make me default back to a, a cisgendered woman who, who likes a man? <laughs> I have no idea. How... I how much do I have to invalidate myself? <laughs> <laughs> How much do I have to suppress my feelings? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, suppress my non-existent feelings <laughs> of uh, having a gender and sometimes liking liking opposite gender. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have actually no idea what you would be classified as. That's so strange. <laughs> Huh. Comment down below what the fuck I am. <laughs> what is Phoenix? Because yeah. right now there's a massive void. I'm I'm a large mass. <laughs> <laughs> I keep Just, calling uh, myself that, and Cameron's like, please stop. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a black me... hole. <laughs> I am a butt of an enigma. <laughs> I am the universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all agendered people. They're like, j we're just a bunch of atoms, you know? <laughs> yeah, gender fears me. Yeah, we're just a bunch of glass bones and paper skin. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pop off with the analogies. Yeah, I'm so good at those. Oh, wait, You're I forgot. So smart. I need to grab a coin. To see. Oh, wait, we're not doing that. This is not the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to do something I don't actually need to do. <laughs> I'm so used to doing that. I'm like, all right, let me go grab the coin. Let me see whose fate goes, go, go, who goes first. But we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, we just called you smart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the f I've been doing this for how long? And, I, and I'm... I don't know. Maybe I should be put down. <laughs> The silly is getting to you, it's okay. It is. We were talking for straight up like 30 minutes. <laughs> it was deteriorating all my brain cells for reading. Real. I mean, we were just talking. Yeah, but it was funny though. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. We argued about Disneyland. You call my favorite drink at Starbucks, uh, Shrek's Toe. <laughs> And then uh, we we laughed about Gummy Goose Hat. 
Yeah, and naked men running down the street, but it's okay. <laughs> because they have gloves. <laughs> <laughs> gloves is <that it? laughs> He's got boots on, it's fine. Yeah, he's got, he's got a scarf on, it, it covers it. Guys, he's got a woolly hat on. <laughs> don't panic. Guys, don't worry, he's wearing socks. <laughs> Please, please, he's, he's wearing bracelets. No, don't worry, guys, he's wearing a mask. Don't worry, it's all good. No one's gonna know what this means. Stay calm, he's wearing glasses. No one's gonna, everyone's gonna be like, What the fuck are these two on about? Yeah, just like, Oh, read already. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we already read this paragraph that's on screen. Hurry up, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. All right. Well, it's it's Loot's POV, so I guess you should go on ahead. Okay, I'm so scared for this. Actually, I'm like quaking it <laughs> in my boots. <laughs> in your boots, that. <laughs> it's fine because I'm wearing boots. <laughs> <laughs> you you wearing boots just to quiver in them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, you know what? That's next level shit. Go off, King. <laughs> okay. I hear a loud bang as I awoke. Fuck, I guess I must have fallen asleep on the floor. What time was it? I reached down and grabbed my phone to check the time. When I turned on my phone, it was filled by different notifications. I couldn't tell what, but it was about Adam. Oh no, did something happen to him? I started to panic. I opened the first notification I saw and read and read and read. Over and over, I read it over again. I couldn't believe it. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> that might explain a few things. Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, the God. miscommunication. Oh, no. It's not like that's been, not been happening this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not like we're not used to it already. <laughs> yeah, we're like, just get over it. Yeah. You're like, wow, what a shock. <laughs> Monotone as shit, no expression on her face at this point. Rapid blinking. Wow, <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, this is gonna numb us to any other fix that we read that have miscommunication. We're not even gonna bat an eyelash to it. We're like, yep, this is this is happening now, I guess. Yeah, or we could get PTSD, we'd be like, oh god, it's like the Adam and Luke fanfic again. Yeah, cut to the <laughs> The, the the traumatized war veteran with the war behind him <laughs> that's us <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i don't know what to think or say i knew it i just knew it i should have just fucking before i finished i punched the wall pretty hard not enough to break it but enough to get my frustration out now who is this bitch that adam's with i might as well meet her i am his lieutenant after all she's gonna have to meet me sooner or later I flew towards Adam's house, pissed off. He could have just told me. I would have understood, right? No, shut up, Luke. Let's just meet his flavor of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I approach Adam's house and land right in front of his door. I take a minute before knocking. No answer. I knock again. Still no answer. Fucking hell, Adam. Open the door. I yell. Still nothing. I think for a moment or two before I take my next action. Fuck it. I lift my leg up and kick the door open. I'm greeted to Adam's hallway which has been destroyed. Photos on the walls all over the floor and clutter everywhere. I slowly walk down the hallway. There is loud rock music blasting from one of the rooms. It's almost deafening. I can hear loud banging and destruction coming from the same room. Cause and I will be the night that I'll come for <laughs> you. Ever again. <laughs> That's what, yeah, he's playing like emo rock music. That's what the mask is! <laughs> <laughs> That's whoa, look at that. That's slightly <laughs> controversial. <laughs> I slowly grab the door and push it open, and my face turns to horror. His room is somehow worse than the hallway. Before I get any thoughts on what's going on, I Guitar flash, uh, flies past my face and right into the TV on the wall. Hold on, I'm gonna kill this line. Really? <laughs> 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 you had him, yeah. <laughs> that is such a beautiful line. I'm so brilliant, guys. <laughs> no, you deserve it. I like an Oscar. Congratulations. Do you have Oscars there? Or is it like Emmy? What do you do there? 
oh, I don't know, we just give each other like chocolate medals and we're like, here you go, you pig. <laughs> here you go, here's a chocolate medal then just for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I see him walk out of his closet with another guitar in his hands. He looks for something to break that guitar on. Sir, are you okay? I ask. I go to reach out to him. Piss off, Loot. He turns. What should I break this shit on? He looks around frantically. Sir, settle down. Let me help. I reach over and grab his shoulder. Don't fucking touch me, he yells, tears swelling up in his eyes. Sir, that's your favourite guitar, you don't want to break that, I say, trying to calm him down. I said, fuck off, he said with a stone cold look. He turned to smash the guitar on the ground. He lifted it up and I rushed and grabbed him, hugging him from behind. He paused, not knowing not how to react. I turned him around and cupped his face with my hands. <laughs> they touch. <gasps> kiss, kiss. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. It's okay, Adam. I'm here. I spoke softly to ease him. He melted into my hands. I'm here for you, sir. If you need anything, just tell me. I need you, he said, leaning and resting his head on <laughs> and started walling his eyes out. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Closure! And you only needed to have a mental breakdown for it. Let's go! Oh, this is so sweet! How long until it turns to shit? Next chapter. <laughs> oh. What? Not even like at the next chapter. It's gonna be at the end of the chapter. It goes to shit, and we're like, fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I laughed as I moved us onto his bed to hold him better. He continued to cry against my chest as he was laying on top of me. I put my hand behind his head and pulled him close. I'll stay here as long as you need me, sir. I said. He slowly nodded as he let it all out. I started playing with, with his hair and he seemed to like it. Soon he stopped <laughs> <laughs> Soon he stopped crying and he fell asleep on top of me. It didn't seem like I was going home tonight, so I cuddled up next to him and slowly but surely my eyes closed. I never thought I would be in this position. Let's go! <laughs> I woke up at some point during the night. Adam was no longer on top of me, he was next to me, still asleep one arm over my waist and his face nuzzling against my shoulder. My face was as red as tomato. I can't believe this is fucking happening. I eased up and slowly went to sleep. I slowly wake up again and it's the morning. I let out a big stretch when I hear Adam groan next to me. He slowly wakes up. I turn to look at him, his face is almost as red as mine. He let out a little laugh and starts playing with my hair. Ooh! Oh. We have a problem. That was, <laughs> that was such a deafening gasp. <laughs> so we should probably just a little longer, Danger Tits, he said, cutting me off. I roll my eyes playfully before I say anything. He pulls me in close. My head ends up on his chest. I can hear his heartbeat slowly grow faster and faster. Thank you. For helping me loot, he says. Not an issue, sir. I look up at him, both of us connecting with eye contact. Kiss already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, do it. <laughs> we both just gaze at each other for what feels like an eternity. What's her name? I ask, breaking the silence. Who? He replies. Your girlfriend. Oh yeah, about that. He paused for a moment. I don't have one, he said with a broken smile. Then, what was that whole thing about? Yeah, so some bitch tried to hit on me, so I tried to tell her no. She continued to push, and I may have said I had a girlfriend to get her away from me, and shit got crazy from there. I know you, sir. You never pass up on getting wet with anyone in heaven. Whoa! Damn. <laughs> Straight to the point, Lou. <laughs> Yeah, you day hooker. <laughs> Slut. <laughs> you prostitute. <laughs> well, I was thinking about someone. Who? You bitch, she said with a smile. If my face wasn't already red, it was now. I climbed up on top of him, straddling on his waist. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> are we gonna have to age drink this video? <laughs> Yeah, are we we gonna have to like cut this short? Or if you're a child, click off now. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We looked at each other. I was admiring him. Luke, what? Shh. I put a finger over his mouth. Let me admire you. Whoa! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is so cute. Do you keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> he sat up to where we were eye level from each other. I slowly moved closer. You're perfect, Luke, he muttered. <laughs> <laughs> we slowly closed the gap between us, and I moved forward and connected lips with him. Yes! <laughs> and passionate, just like I always wanted. We slowly pulled away. Let's go! Finally, I can die happy. <laughs> we got a kiss that's good enough for me. <laughs> you be you're better than I thought, Danger Tits, he said with a big grin on his face. You're just as good as I thought, I said, biting my lip. Woo! Whoa, that's some kinky shit. I mean, what? Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come here. He pulled me in close again. I accepted it, nuzzling against his chest. This was the best day of my life. <gasps> Gee, I sure hope they last, and nothing bad happens in this next chapter. Yeah! Or else Surely I will cry. Nothing. Surely nothing could go wrong, right? Yeah. Adam's we PhD. got what we wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna be sad as shit if this ends with uh, like Adam dying like in in the show. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adam POV. Night before extermination day, week before the meeting with Charlie. Oh wait. <laughs> uh oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is gonna be a death. Click off now. <laughs> Click off. <laughs> Yeah, we end the, end the video there. Like, so, what do you think? Sage, you're like, wow, this is great. I had a great time. I'm glad I got together and nothing bad happened. I'm like, me too. Yeah, let's spin the wheel and see what we're reading next. <laughs> <laughs> I jolted awake during the middle of the night. The night before extermination days always get to me. Like, don't get me wrong. I love slaughtering those little bastards. They fucking deserve it. Anyway. It's just always a fear of what what if they rise up this time. I know it seems stupid, but it still gets to me. As I lounge in my bed, looking at in, at the dark ceiling, my worries are subsided when I feel Lude's face nuzzled against my neck? Awesome! Oh. <laughs> epic! <laughs> now, this is epic. <laughs> wow, that was legitness. <laughs> Do you think he still wears the fucking mask everywhere still? Even when we went around loot in private? What do you think when Probably. he's looking up at the ceiling he's still wearing the mask? Hmm. Probably not when he's with loot. Probably he's gonna take it off when he's with loot, I bet. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Her whole body was wrapped around mine. Gotta say, for a cold hearted bitch, she's pretty good at cuddling. I gently move her off of me and head out to my porch. I desperately need some fresh fucking air. I sit there, stare at the bright stars that light up the heavenly night sky. Things have been good. Things haven't been this good in a long time. Lou has stayed the night at my place for the past week. Things are nice between us, sleeping next- sleep Sleeping next to her was so fucking amazing. Nothing I- Though, I don't think we're technically dating, I don't know though. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Oh! So frustrating. We haven't kissed or talked about it since it happened. <sighs> You're aggravating the shit out of me, Adam. Get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck, I want to again. It's not. I'm not good at this whole feelings thing. Oh my god, he used the line I said. Oh, <laughs> the he whole said the whole thing. feeling thing. <laughs> but is I mean, that? A Reference? Yes. Is that a Phoenix reference? <laughs> the hit YouTuber Phoenix Flare 69? Oh my god, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we cuddle a lot and shit, I love that too, but the way she kissed me, man, fuck, it was amazing. After like an hour on the porch, I walk back to our- fuck, I mean, my bedroom. She was still sleeping, curled up. I rarely saw her out of uniform. It was nice to finally get a good look at her. I settled back in bed and wrapped my arms around her, pulling her close to me. She reacted by turning and facing me. Sir, can I do s something? She asked, half, half awake. Yeah, what, babe? I, I replied. 
She got up and crawled under my robe, peeping, peeking her. I literally used this picture in the thumbnail. <laughs> no, it's so, <laughs> it's so cute. It's, it was adorable. Can I? Oh, credit. Oh, there's your credit. <laughs> yeah, just so that we don't get like cancelled or something. Yeah. <laughs> Look, blame Pinterest. Pinterest makes it so easy to steal shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, a copy images. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I'm not stealing shit, not at all. Yeah, or anyway. <laughs> what are you? It's cold, sir, and you're very warm, she said, cutting me off. This is new, but I'm not complaining. This is surprisingly nice, I said. She didn't respond, and she was out like a light. I smiled, holding her ears. I drifted off. Me and Lou walked down the down the sidewalk, side by side, like we do usually. But this time, it felt different because today was extermination day. And for the love of god, I wanted to hold her hand so bad. Oh my god, hold hands? That That's some slut behavior. <laughs> you whores. <laughs> Whore? <laughs> yeah, how public? Ugh. Oh my god, yeah, pub PDA. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. Yeah. Get her room! <laughs> I don't want to force anything, so I slowly touched my pinky to hers. She responded by twisting her pinky. Oh, that's so cute. I can see the visual. <laughs> pinky around mine. I know what. You know what? Fuck it. Can I hold your hand? I blurted it out. <laughs> All of a sudden. Luckily, I had my mask on as I was very embarrassed. She didn't say anything, but she responded by grabbing my hand and pulling me forward. We walked hand in hand together to Heaven's Gate and rallied up the troops. She let go once we were in front of her when I went up to front of the girls to give some badass speech. Whoever gets the most kills gets to go to Pound Town with the Dick Master. I said, pointing at my dick. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh not I run ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I had to turn away in embarrassment. <laughs> Cheers roared out. I knew all these bitches had it down bad for me. I glanced at Loon. She looked visibly upset. What's wrong, babe? I say with a grin. I thought we were... Why did you offer that, Adam? She whined. I moved, I moved closer to her ear, which I will simulate with the mic right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> to encourage you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I like to apologize for the way I acted. It was very wrong and I'm very sorry. It was just like bass boosted on my face. <laughs> it was just like it was that like, full mm, volume. You had the ick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even with the mask on, I could sense her face was getting red. I left as the portal to hell opened and we flew down with the rest of them. Man, this place really is some kind of shit show. I feel like I say this every year, I probably do. Now I really don't do any of the killing, I count in the eyes of the sky if you say. I monitor everything and make sure the girls are doing their jobs. Last time that happened, never mind, I don't want to think about it. What happened? What happened? No, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, why did you come on? We're friends. <laughs> Gossip! Come on, girly. <laughs> a few hours go by, and I'm kind of just bored. I just fly here, doing nothing, and there's only a few hours left, so hopefully we'll, we'll be d done soon. I said that I'm gonna fly around a bit. Maybe something- maybe catch some brutal kills on the way. As I fly around the streets, I see a motherfucking Luke killing four demons with one slash of her sword. I flew out to her. Seems like someone wants the dick master tonight, I say with a grin. <laughs> Sir, not now. I'm trying to do my job, she utters as she speaks. I give her a wink as I flew away. No doubt that she's gonna win. She's not my main... Wait, she's not my main bitch for no reason. Wait. Okay, that makes sense, I think. <laughs> Maybe I'm just having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> the light bulb went off for a few seconds. <laughs> Yeah, the, the electricity in my brain is malfunctioning. <laughs> Lights are on, but no one's home. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. 
<laughs> the engine's running, but no one's behind the wheel. <laughs> yeah, the gears are turning, but they're like stuck. <laughs> <laughs> How does that Phoenix? How does that work? <laughs> you know what? Like you're, when you're trying to like get some gears moving, they're like there's like a jam in in the thing, so they're like somewhat moving, but it's not enough for them to like fully. Move. Yeah. You, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking finally, it's about time to wrap this up. The girls start flying towards the portal, and I head there as well. We all meet up back at the entrance of the gate, and I once again give my badass speech. Great extermination, bitches. That's probably our best year yet, I explained. A lot of cheers came as I raised my hand to quiet everyone down. Now, who had over 200 kills? A good amount of hands, Rose. Okay, 250? Only a few stayed up. Hmm, 270? At this point, I pull my numbers out of my ass. No one had their hands up, so I glanced over my side and look over, and Loot had her hand raised. She looked away, slightly embarrassed by the attention. Well, <laughs> I think this video is gonna get age restricted. Let's go! <laughs> gonna get a bit freaky. Yeah. You're all dismissed. <laughs> See you in a few months for training. Everyone started clustering up and started heading out. You stay. I pointed at Loot. I walked over and grabbed her hands. You in for a special night? I say with a grin. <laughs> 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 oh, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two asexuals <laughs> reading it. <laughs> 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 it's not gonna end well. <laughs> oh, shit. I wonder if you know this audio one. It's like, hey. Do you want to take this upstairs? And they're like, yeah, what's up there? And they're like, oh, did you bring protection? And I'm like, what's up there? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that before. I constantly see it with like Angel Dust and, and, uh, and Alistair, like Angel just trying to seduce him upstairs. He's like, what the fuck is up there that I need protection for? <laughs> <laughs> That's so real. <laughs> I have a treat for my girlfriend. I had to treat my girlfriend well tonight. Hey, wait, she paused. Girlfriend? Yeah, if that's okay with you. She kissed me, cutting me off mid sentence. So, is that like a yes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. Of course it is, she says. So we slowly lean in again, kissing passionately. I'm still guessing they still had the mask on. <laughs> This is the happiest Adam has ever been, but how long will it last? Little would we know uh, that in six short months, everything would change. Stage <laughs> Oh, fuck you. I'm gonna kill myself. You're gonna end it all. Yeah. I'm not ready, I don't wanna. <laughs> Alright, your turn. <laughs> oh. You got okay. this queen. <laughs> <sighs> Approximately 45 seconds after the meeting with Charlie. That is a very specific number and I appreciate it. P.S. <laughs> Adam is not a hologram in this version. <laughs> that fucker is so fucking dead, Adam yells, slamming his fist in the table. I walk over to him, placing my hand on top of his. Sir, it's gonna be okay, I say, trying to calm him down. He really has his daughter's daughter fight his battles for him what a fucking fuck bitch fucking fuck that is amazing <laughs> he swears angrily i walk over and sit on his lap Ooh. <laughs> putting my hands on his chest he seems to settle down from the action fuck Lou, i didn't mean to take it out on you it's fine sir i understand why you're upset he just took everything from me i want to see that fucker pay well, there's one thing he won't be able to take away, I say with a grin. Adam gets a hint and embraces me. You got that right, danger tits. He pauses for a moment. Let's go home. I'm so done with work. I practically live at Adam's, as I rarely go back to my shitty apartment. It's nice. His house is way bigger than mine. It's also nice not being alone, and he's a great cuddler. I was sitting on the bed, finishing up the last other paperwork Sarah gave me, while Adam was watching TV. He got a new bigger one after he destroyed that last one. <laughs> Fucking finally, I yawned as I set the finished paperwork aside. I glanced over at Adam, who was still very much focused on the TV. Without breaking his attention from the TV, he lifted his arm up. 
I got the hint and crawled over and lay on his chest. Oh, you ready for tomorrow? He asked. Yep, I answered it was still hard to believe that one of us died down there. The funeral was going to be hard, not specifically for me and Adam, but for all the exorcists. So wait a minute, we know in the show that like Velvet and like the V's have the, have the head of the exorcist because she fucking brings it with her to the Overlord meeting. So does that mean they just have the body of no head? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, we couldn't find the head, so this is just gonna have to do. <laughs> it's gonna be a closed casket funeral. <laughs> Yeah, you're not allowed to go and speak with the deceased. Yeah, or, or no, they like put it in, but they don't have the head part, so they just close that side of the casket and just leave people to talk to the feet. <laughs> 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 oh god, that's weird images in your head. <laughs> <laughs> or they just take like what, like the helmets. Because I'm assuming they have, like, multiple helmets. They'll just take one of those and just place it over the... <laughs> yeah, the light don't take off. Yeah, they put, like, padding around it so it doesn't, like, shake or, like, move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're like, yeah, th yeah, that looks fine. <laughs> yeah, this looks amazing. This is totally authentic. <laughs> <laughs> he started rubbing his hand up and down my back, stopping sometimes to massage the base of my wings. Safe to say I couldn't stay up much longer. I slowly wake up stretching as I reach over to Adam but he's not there. How is he always up before me? I get out of bed to go and look for him. Where the fuck could he be? Right as I say that the door opens and Adam in full uniform comes into the house. Oh you're up babe. Here I got you a nice coffee. He said with a grin handing it to me. He rips his mask off. <laughs> Phoenix, you have your Arizona iced tea. But I want coffee. I want to have a tummy ache later. Yeah, you want that Shrek toe coffee. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For context, looks... at Starbucks, my order is a is a oat milk matcha lavender coffee, and it and it looks beautiful. And I showed it to Sage, and he <laughs> said it was ugly. <laughs> it looked like shit. <laughs> No, -uh, no, -uh, I said it looks like Shrek's toe. Yeah, yeah well, you uh, appetizing. That's exactly what I'm thinking when I want to drink in Star Plus Shrek's toe. <laughs> the fact that it has like little black bits floating around in it is so Fish. disgusting. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna look at my own picture again. <laughs> Dude, those are ice cubes. <laughs> no, -uh, it looks like oh. I don't know. It not like an ice cube. They, they, it's iced. <laughs> It's, it's, it's ice cubes. <laughs> let's move on. Let's move okay, on. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I give him a peck on the cheek. Funeral is in a few hours. Make sure you wear your clean robes today. I told him. Yeah, yeah, whatever, babe. He responded. A few hours later, loot, babe. Hurry up! I hear Adam yell. I was finishing putting on this black dress. I don't really wear dresses. Damn, you're smoking! <laughs> I said standing in the doorway. Oh, stop it, I say, blushing. Let's go. Adam and I fly towards the training ground, where the ceremony is taking place. When we enter, everyone is in complete silence. It was unusual seeing the girls like this, but it makes sense. They just lost one of their own. This is the first time they ever had to experience this. Adam went up to give a speech. I know he was dealing with a lot as he never saw the girls like this. I know that we all weren't very close with Vienna, Ooh. but she was still one of us. He paused for a moment. I wish to honor her memory by moving up the extermination and killing all those bastards so that this will never ever fucking happen again, he proudly stated. Cheers erupted and Adam came back down and sat next to me. I grabbed and squeezed his hand to comfort him. <laughs> oh no. I wonder how Luke will react when those bastards <laughs> do it again. Especially <laughs> to the person she cares for the most. Hold on, what are these comments? No, fuck. Her mom, right? Her mom, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Tension to stop fate. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't you fucking dare. No, no, absolutely not. I won't allow that. 
Oh. It's a question that people is. They're on, they're on holy case clothes. <laughs> Did you forget that? Happens I, forever. Forever. I will read in just a second. I just need to clock out of work. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah, well we're already on company time. Let's go. <laughs> You're amazing. You're so awesome, Phoenix. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you gotta get that. Yep. You gotta get that bag. <laughs> right. Thanks. Adam's POV. Five months later, we're skipping right to all the, the death right <laughs> Oh, I don't wanna. <laughs> Things were finally going well for me for the first time in 10,000 years. I have a kick ass job and a badass girlfriend. Man, I'm so fucking happy. Even when St. Peter was singing that stupid song welcoming new winners, all I could focus on was the comfort I had in Luke's hand and join with my own. Sipping on the shake I got from our favorite place. I was having a nice day, until a familiar blonde babe walked right by me. Holy fucking shitballs, am I seeing who I think I'm seeing? I asked. What is she doing here? How did she even get up here? Luth says angrily. Who cares? I'm ending this shit right now. I try to walk over to them, but Luth stops me in my tracks. Wait, do you th want to start a fight on the promade in front of everyone? Uh, better than waiting for the fucking extermination. Luke pulls me down so I could face her. Shh, sir. What did the Seraphim's one rule? Uh, no one but the exorcist should know about the exterminations. I know, fine. A brief pause took place. I hate being shushed. Don't fucking shush me, bitch. <laughs> Luke could respond. A glowing light engulfed us. You should listen to your lieutenant, Adam, Seraph said. Fuck, Sarah, don't sneak up on a guy like that, jeez. Your Highness, forgive me, but what is the Hellspawn doing here? Loot added on. Then blah blah, something about Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm just one guy, I asked. I need you to do whatever I you need to do to keep this problem from getting any worse. Are we clear? Yeah, got it. So, what's the plan, sir? Lou asked me while we were walking down the hallway. Well, we're gonna pay a certain someone walking next to that Pinkie Pie so I can pay- Wait. Well, we both saw a certain someone walking next to Pinkie Pie, so I say we pay her a visit. Good idea, sir. Lou said with a wicked grin. Oh no, baggy trauma. <laughs> no. <laughs> wah wah. <laughs> I knocked on the door and I knew where they were staying. She better fucking answer or else. After like the 26 knocks, she finally opens the damn door. Hey there, Vagisaurus, I explained. Charlie will be back soon. You need to get out now, she said, filled with anger. I'm not looking for the blonde babe. You are who I'm looking for. Why? Because maybe you left the band, started a solo career, or maybe more of a duet. I don't know what you're talking about, she tensed up. Do you really think I wouldn't recognize one of my top girls just because you're out of uniform? <laughs> We're just reading the script of <laughs> episode yeah, 6 now. <laughs> I, I'm just seeing the scenes in my head and we're just re reenacting. <laughs> Me too. I can see everything happening. Yeah. Maybe that's a problem with us, like, we watched the show multiple times that we could already see the angles and shots and <laughs> Yeah, and, like, the music that's playing in the background. Oh my god, you're right, I can! <laughs> <laughs> Cue flashback. You were on the front lines. I wouldn't forget a bad bitch like you. And that's why I named you after the best thing ever, Vaggy. It's pronounced Vaggy, she said amused. Unamused. Mmm. No, I said, pretending to think. Anyway, you sure fucked up, didn't you? Cue another flashback. <laughs> to think that someone as un. as worthless as you landed Lilith's little hottie. What does that say? Grabs? Grats on that, I guess. Oh, grats on that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Their love is vile and blasphemous. Loot spoke up, near inches away from Vaggie's face. Hot as fuck, though. 
What do you want? <laughs> Simple. You work with me again, and at the hearing, you're gonna help me shut down this kindergarten snowflake bullshit down for good. Never. Oh yeah, you know, that's totally cool. Guess I'll just tell little Miss... Little Miss Butterflies and Rainbows that she's been fucking someone who's killed thousands of her people. I say, with a devilish grin. I'm sure a relationship will be fine. See you in court. After the- Oh, we don't get to read the song lyrics. Oh, we were gonna do like the whole little bit and everything. Here, Here I was we'll do so it right now. <laughs> yeah, hold on, let's, let's play the music, hold on. <laughs> I, that will get me copyrighted so fast. I was so ready to break out into like musical form. I was like, don't worry guys, I got this. <laughs> There's no question to be posed. They're unholy case <laughs> club. You're gonna Dude. live in forever. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. We thrashed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I fucked up big time. I really fucked did. I really fucking did. Not only did I <laughs> spill the beans about the extermination, but... Sarah and Loot are both pissed at me. Oh, what the fuck did you do to Loot? Uh oh. Uh oh. Loot was already pissed after the inappropriate comments I said of Aggie, and Sarah was pissed that I revealed the extermination to the entire court. God, fuck. Me not actually, though, gross. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I think I had a stroke. It's, it's fine. <laughs> I think he's like, God fuck me. Not actually though, that's gross. Oh, that, okay. I think. Yeah, I don't want God anywhere near me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God can, you know, shove off. <laughs> <laughs> I enter my house and I'm dreading heading to our room because fuck, Loot is angry. She's scary as fuck when she's angry. I slowly walk towards my room and open the door. Loot is sitting there, still in full uniform, giving me the death glare. Adam, we need to talk. Oh, that's never good. No! Oh. <laughs> she said, gritting her teeth. I didn't say anything. I just walked and sitting on the bed next to her for to yell at me. What you did today was not only st stupid, dumb, and irresponsible, but it hurt. What? Me revealing the extermination hurt you? Hurt you how? No, not that dumbass. The things you said to Vaggie. Look, okay, I'm sorry. Are we done? Wow. He is an asshole. Oh, he is a, a bitch. He's a batch. <laughs> <laughs> that is totally not fetch. Yeah. <laughs> not fetch. <laughs> not fetch. Lou looked unimpressed. She got up and grabbed some of her things. What are you doing? I asked. I'm staying in my apartment until you learn to grow up, she said angrily. I sat there in silence. I don't know what I did wrong. Fuck, what do I do? Fuck, fuck, fuck. She started walking towards the door. Wait, loot, please don't go. I begged. She didn't respond, but she kept walking. Please, don't leave me, loot. Not again, I begged. That made her stop right in her tracks, but she glanced back at me. She huffed as she walked back to s sit next to me, grabbing my hand. I told you, I'm not gonna leave you, Adam, but God, you made it. You make it hard sometimes. We sat there in silence for a few moments. Lou? I asked. She glanced over at me. I... I can't believe I'm doing this. I really am sorry, okay? Damn, that was hard to get out. I never really had an apology sincerely like that before. Lou gave me a soft smile. You're such an idiot. You know that, right? <laughs> you know you love it. No. I love you. She placed a hand on my cheek and slowly leaned over, and we kissed. It's always <gasps> slow and passionate, but fuck me, it's the best. <laughs> Luke Aww. kept her promise about not leaving, but but will Adam? Yeah, will he stay or chill out? <laughs> I'm gonna rip that devilish grin off of your face. No, no, no! I won't stand for this. You better not. <laughs> Is that the comment? Yeah. Everyone's oh, reacted right. to it like, please don't, don't kill him. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this to her. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to read this. Oh, what? Like, do, like if they do decide <gasps> to kill him. Do it. Read it. Read. Read. <gasps> read. 
Oh, hold on! I need to <laughs> mentally prepare myself! I'm not mentally prepared! I need to, like, go in the corner for a minute and just think about my life. Yeah, you're gonna go listen to emo music? <laughs> I'm in love with an emo girl! <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Loot's POV. Warning, sensitive topics discussed through this chapter. No! I felt the hotel crumble underneath me. Wait, am I in the right one? Yep. Oh no, I thought I missed someone. <laughs> okay. I felt the hotel crumble under me. I had Reggie dead to the right when it all came tumbling down. Adam had been in a gruesome fight with Lucifer. He blasted the hotel in half and I fell down, getting rocked by a piece of debris. I was slow it was slow to get up. I could hear muffled yelling. It was Adam. I couldn't make out what he was saying, but his mask was destroyed. Fuck, I was missing an arm. It hurt so badly. I glanced at where my arm once was and tried to stop the bleeding. That's when I heard a distant stab. I glanced over and saw the most horrific sight. <laughs> no! I scream as I run over to Adam. Sir, sir, stay with me, sir. I flipped him over. I looked into his beautiful golden eyes and he gave me a little smile. Adam! I could feel the tears coming down my face. I couldn't lose him. Not like this. But all I could do was listen. All I could do was stay. All I could do was watch him drift away. No! <laughs> this is my pet duck, Adam, going for his first swim. Be careful, Adam. Adam! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. Yeah. <laughs> one, one week later, I couldn't move. I hadn't for the last week. I just laid in our, well, my bed now. Every time I realized that, it hurt even more. I wore his robe and everything that reminded me of him. The pictures of us on the wall and the bedside mocked me. The joy on my face will never come back. I finally decided to get up and take a good look at myself in the mirror. I tried to smile, but I looked even more broken. I was now in charge of the exorcist, but I couldn't go on much longer like this. I needed to go somewhere to get my mind off of things. It was hard to fly, it was hard to move at all, but I finally arrived. The gardens, where Adam first declared his love for me, when he wasn't drunk, that is. The night didn't end well then but it's still a key place in my heart. I walked over to the same tree we sat against. I laid back and took everything in. Adam is dead and he's never coming back. Wah, Just wah. thinking about- <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> Just thinking about how I'll never be able to hold his hand again, never be able to kiss him again, his annoying laugh, every even the way he called me a bitch. I'll never be able to experience it again. Losing my arm didn't hurt as bad as losing him and that smile. That damn smile. That's all I picture in my brain. His last moments, that stupid fucking smile. I couldn't hold back the tears. I start bawling. I've lost people before. Hell, I've lost people close to me. But none hurt like this. He was my everything. Even if we only recently started dating. It should have been me. I should have been the one who died, not him. I would do anything to go back to that moment and take the hit for him. He would have been able to move on. He would have 20,000 other chicks to fuck. Holy hell. <laughs> one day later. Another day has passed. It's all starting to feel the same. I don't think it will ever get better. I walk to the kitchen as I haven't been eating well when I glance over on the counter. There's a knife. I grabbed huh? the knife holding it. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. Panic. <laughs> uh, click off, guys. Click off. <laughs> Skip forward. <laughs> and thinking my brain flooding with thoughts. Join him. You know you want to. The thoughts were overwhelming. I want to be with him so bad. I take the edge of the knife and point it to my stomach. I extend it out. I'm about to plunge in into my stomach when all of a sudden I let go. I fall to the floor just crying. 
and I can't feel anything anymore. Some positivity after that. Adam is dead, but is he really gone? <gasps> is he coming back? I'm gonna go How? Hey, is, is he coming back? <laughs> How? There's no shot. Well, I have a, I have a dis not a Discord update. I have a Wattpad notification. Dude, my favorite book update. <laughs> is it SMG? Let me see. Is it? No. Uh -huh. I'm sad now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this that news made you feel better. Yeah, you being sad makes me feel better. <laughs> my life was flashed before my eyes. Reliving every moment from from being born to finding my wife making out with Lucifer. From Eve going and creating my own rib to the first murder, which was my own son killing Af my own son killing another. It all came flying back until I woke up. Right outside of heavenly gates? Still wearing my black robe the day of the failed extermination. I'm alive? Fuck yeah, I'm alive! I flew over to the gates where St. Peter was standing in front. Adam, is that you? He asked excitedly. Fuck yeah it is. Let me in already. I beg. Sure, sure thing, buddy. She, he opened the gates and I walked in no pro- What do you mean no problem? <laughs> what do you mean? What? As if you didn't just die. Yeah. I thought this was gonna be that scene from that movie Robots where he's like, Oh, come right inside! And he's like, thanks! And he goes to walk in and the gate sh gets shut on him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, huh, I gotcha! See, you're all excited! And then, wham! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was so stoked. I really dodged a bullet with not dying, I guess. But there was one person I needed to see. I flew as fast as I could to my house where I knew loot would be. I barged to the front door and ran into the bedroom. Where, I, where she was in all of her beautiful glory. Loot? I asked. Adam? Is that you? She flew over and f she jumped up and flew to me. Oh, I fucking missed you so much. She squeezed the life out of me and in return squeezed her back as well. Fucking missed you, danger tits. Uh, I grabbed her chin and kissed the life out of her. We stayed like that for a good while until she looked up at me and said, if only this were real. What? I asked her. Everything around me began to crumble. Began to crumble the walls of my house and surrounding buildings, even the sky. I looked down at my arms and loot disappeared. And I long no longer was holding her. It was all an hallucination. It wasn't real. That's when I opened my eyes, gasping for air. I looked at the bloody red sky. Fuck, was all that. Was, was this fake as well? Until I got up, my whole body hurt, pushing my chest from where I got stabbed. I wanted to check the wound. I looked down and realized that my usual white, yellow, and red robes, it was turned solid red and black. I started to panic. I needed fresh air. I needed to take my mask off my head. I pulled and pulled, but it wouldn't come off. That's when I realized my mask had become my face. I glanced over and saw a puddle, and I ran over to the reflection that stared at me. Wait, I need to see. What is... Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is real. I'm looking at it now. That's really cool design. Yeah. I've seen quite a few, but this one, I like this one. Yeah, it's sad that he's never going to come back, though. He's perma-dead. Oh, stop it. I'm sorry. <laughs> this has to be some kind of dream. Yeah, yeah, that's right. A dream. Heaven wouldn't lead me down here. They would never. I'm the first man. The original dick. They can't make mis- I can't make mistakes. Angels can't make mistakes. I curl up into a ball. I was hyperventilating. God, this can't be real. I keep telling myself that. Once they realize I'm gone, they'll need me. God, I want loot. No, I need her. Her comforting touch, her soothing voice telling me everything was gonna be okay. But loot wasn't there. She was back in heaven. I needed a plan. I needed somewhere to go. I can't stay out here in the open like this. No fucking way. I began to walk in a direction knowing there was only one place I can go, but I didn't know if they would want to see me. Fuck, I'll give it a try. It's not like... It's not like I would be there long, loot. We came and... Wait. <laughs> 
Hold on. <laughs> it's not like a would be there long loot. We came and get me. She wouldn't forget me, right? She wouldn't leave me. She promised. She promised. <laughs> He's in hell! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> loser, loser, L. <laughs> womp womp! Did, did you just say womp womp to this man right now? Yeah, sorry. That's so fucked up. I cannot believe you said that. I'm sorry! <laughs> Why to me earlier, where I said womp womp to loot being sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, uh, you can't blame me, I'm just a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just a shy little guy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just a little uwu. Don't do that ever again. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was too far. I, I thought it was funny. No, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I deeply apologize for for making you guys uncomfortable. Yeah, thank you. I needed that. <laughs> All right, how do you feel right now? Cause I feel like shit. I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm gonna go join Adam in hell right now. Yeah, we got the scene together for two chapters before he just died. So awesome. Yeah, I thought we were gonna have like at least a little bit of build up, but yeah. it just happened. <laughs> Gotta get to the good shit. And by good shit, I mean him getting stabbed in the chest. Yeah, nothing good lasts forever. Yeah. Wow, I just wow. destroyed my own heart with that good omens quote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God damn I'm it. Making myself sadder. Well, you know what will make you less sad? What's that? Us spinning the wheel to see what we have to read next time. <laughs> wheel time, yeah. wheel time, wheel time, wheel time. Just, I'm right. so hyped up. It's a very colorful wheel. We have a lot of options, mainly from has been and hell of a boss and all that, and then some other shit sprinkled in here, like SNG34. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's called the Wheel of Pain, and it's gay. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Let's see what nightmare we're going to be reading next. <gasps> All right, Husker Dust. Ah! Yay, Husker oh, Dust. Do you know how much of a pain it's going to be to try to find a Husker Dust fan fiction that doesn't go too deep in the shit? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wah, wah. It's gonna be great! <laughs> Phoenix, why you always gonna ruin my good mood? I'm like, yay! And you're like, erm, actually? <laughs> it's not the erm, actually. Erm, <laughs> um, actually, womp womp, because this is gonna happen. I'm like, oh! <laughs> why you do this? We gotta do it, Val, I'm sorry. <laughs> why you always lying? <laughs> oh you my... Going? Stop fucking you lying! lying. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to bring down the mood. I'm just being realistic. <laughs> I was thinking about the fluffy husker dust and you're like, <laughs> actually. <laughs> that means he's not like some kind of villain. <laughs> <laughs> That's my evil cackle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like Waluigi. <laughs> That's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he he's my he's my favorite waifu. I I embody him sometimes. Oh, <laughs> I mean Waluigi. <laughs> Waluigi oh. is exactly. Oh, <laughs> Waluigi is exactly what I imagine Heisen to look like. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how I had Canon Heisen. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> I shouldn't make a meme like that where I'm like, oh my god, Heisen face reveal is just a picture of all the week. <laughs> Heisen IRL? Yeah. <laughs> Heisen sponsored on the promenade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hoyas and spotted at McDonald's and it's just Walla <laughs> McDonald's. I should do that. All I tell him is like, like, by the way, I'm gonna do this as a joke in your server and I'll just give him a picture of Walla Luigi. But be like, oh my god, I saw Heisen today. Like, IRL, and then, like, had the picture there, but have it spoiler, so they had to click on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so high as in at Comic Con, and it's just Waluigi <laughs> in the artist alley. Yeah. Again, badly photoshopped in and everything, just like a random convention, I just slap Waluigi <laughs> Yeah, like, it's not even got the white background removed, <laughs> either. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right. Well, th that was fun. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Let's be real. Heartbreaking. That was angst, and it's continued to be angst. Unless at the very end of this, he gets redeemed somehow, which I can't see him getting redeemed. I feel like he's gonna be I... stuck in in hell forever. Yeah, like what if Luke ends up dying or something, and she comes down with him? Because I don't see him get back into heaven, let's be real. Yeah, Sarah's like, oh, thank god, we don't have to deal with that bitch anymore, and then he pops up again, he's like, I'm back! <laughs> oh my god, it's like, thank god, finally! <laughs> what the what fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the serpentious redemption scene. Yeah. Yeah, and she's making comes to the hotel and they're like, I'm spraying this dirty almost man with dirty water. <laughs> to, to get him to leave. <laughs> <laughs> dirty water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well thank you for joining Sage. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, they're on Discord in in my server and whatnot. So if you pop in, you should ask them to. You should pay them to give you a commission. I know how transactions work. <laughs> yeah, like if you see me, just give me your money. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> give give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> give me the money. I smell pennies. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave myself. The you just gave yourself the ache, is that what you just said? <laughs> yeah. I do that all the time, bro, don't worry. Oh, uh, well, I'm not surprised. Anyway, <laughs> on screen somewhere is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings I've done in the past, and then on screen is the last book club reading that was published at some point. I don't know. The YouTube's weird. I don't know how to do shit. <laughs> anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Sage, and well, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!